This program is currently running out of um, Microsoft Office Vista. So you will click on um, either the Excel um, icon or go into All Programs and click on Microsoft Office Excel. Typically the Excel icon is a green um, little box with an, a green X in it. Once we are into the Excel program, you just want to check out a couple of the things um, and features in here. You'll note across the top there are letters. These are the columns and down the left hand side of the page are the, are the numbers and these are the rows. The columns and rows can be extended by clicking on, by highlighting the sections and right clicking and indicating row height to change the size of, of the row or the height of the row. You may also opt to use format cells. This is going to actually allow you, if you click on border, to um, put your text in a border or some type of category as such. Another option in the format cells is the alignment. You can opt to have um, the material um, at the top of the box, at the bottom, um, on the left, on the right, um, and you might want to actually just kind of leave it where it is um, at currently the default and then once you kind of know what material you have in there you can change it. So I'm actually going to start looking at the um, GPA Excel spreadsheet assignment and identifying some of the columns and rows that I'm going to be having in here. So I'm going to be looking at the school that the um, where the grades are transferring in from, the course number, the course title, the number of credits for the course, the grade I received, the points which we'll talk about, and we're just going to kind of go from there. You can see that not the the entire um, section isn't fitting in so one thing you can do is extend the borders here just by clicking on and pulling to the right. So let's say I took a course at, Montgom at MC at Montgomery College and the course was English 109 and it was Intro to Literature and the number of credits for the course was 3 and the grade I received was a B. I'm actually going to change this to calculation and total credits. So just so that you guys know, an A equals 4 points, a B equals 3 points, a C equals 2 points, and a D equals 1 point, and an F equals 0. So the way we're going to actually calculate this is because I received a B in this course, I'm actually going to give myself 3 points for that. And we'll figure out the total um, credit number in a minute. The next course that I took at MC was um, Spanish 201. Now I'm reporting that I got an A in this class, so that's worth four points. The next class that I took is Sociology. The next course that I took is Sociology and it's a three credit class and I did receive an A in that. And again, look over here on the scale, an A is worth four points. Now I'm actually going to be adding some of the courses that I took at UMBC. And this is a three credit course and I got an A in it. And we'll put 260. And because I got a B in that course, I'm going to put three there. Again, okay. So I'm just going to use this as an example of the grades that I received. And as I mentioned before, you can kind of opt to um, highlight the rows and hit format cells. And I actually am going to put these in the center here. Okay. So I need to know the total, what the total number of credits is. And then in order to calculate my GPA, I'm going to need to do some math calculations. Excel is a great program to be able to um, calculate um, some figures here. 
So what has to happen is, is I'm going to actually click on the box where I want the answer to be. And then I'm going to hit the equal sign. By doing that, it indicates to the computer that I am going to put in a formula here. And the formula that I'm going to put in is, is that I want, in order to, to figure out my GPA, I want to be able to calculate the number of credits, um, the value of the credit based on the grade. And in order to do that, I'm going to click on the number of credits and an asterisk for multiplication and the, the calculation that way. So the number of credits, the value of the credit that I earned at that is the, is the value of the grade times the number of the credits, which equals 9. So again, I'm going to put an equal sign and the two numbers that I'm actually creating in this formula. One of the things you can do is to copy the formula and place it into the other boxes all the way down. And you can see here that this formula was copied. The actual numbers weren't copied, as you can see, because there's different numbers here, but the formula was copied, which means if we look at this number 12, it took D4 and multiplied it times F4 to get me 12. Same here with this box. It took D5 and multiplied F5 to get me to the 12. So what I've done is I calculated credit value and in order to figure out my GPA, I'm going to actually create a box for my GPA. My GPA is going to be based on the total number of credits and the credit value. I'm actually going to read. So let's figure that out. The total number of credits, I need again to do another formula. I'm going to hit the equal sign. And this time I'm actually going to use this little FX button here. And I'm going to use the sum category. I click OK. And what I want it to sum is these six boxes here. So D2 through D7. And I hit Enter or I hit OK. And it calculated that I have taken 18 credits. And I also want to calculate the credit value. So again, I'm going to hit the equal sign, the FX box, and the sum. And I'm going to highlight what boxes I want it to sum up and I've calculated 63. So in order to calculate my GPA, I need to take the credit value divided by the number of credits. So the GPA, I'm going to put equals again, is the credit value divided, which is the slash mark, which is right below the question mark next to the shift key, divided by the number of credits. So my current GPA, based on these courses, is a 3.5. So that's how you're going to be calculating your GPA. Um, this can be helpful because some of you guys are transferring from community colleges and what's happened is, is when you guys have your transcript um, at UMBC, it's only calculating your GPA here at UMBC. And for many things like your field application and even Phi Alpha Honor Society and, and other things, you're needing to, to incorporate your entire GPA. And this is a nice way to form a database that you can keep adding to each semester to be able to calculate your GPA quite easily. One of the things we can just talk about here just to kind of dress this up a little bit is under um, right, under insert we can actually click on a header or footer um, and this is actually a nice thing that we can do here I'm gonna actually add Katie Morris GPA spreadsheet so this is might be a nice kind of page header and for a page footer um, is maybe page numbers or the date that I created it um, there's kind of lots of options that I just want to show you too under um, the page layout um, you can see that this is currently two pages here but if you opt to change the orientation to a landscape format you can see now here I've got everything on one page and a nice calculation that way in order for me to indicate um, how many pages I want to print, this um, set print area is a nice feature to use. By highlighting just the boxes I want to print, I can click on set print.